What are you laughing about? I don't know. It just sounded funny. Anybody else act like this? Or is this what I'm stuck with? I'm just trying to talk and she laughs. Every sentence. 2020 been a hell of a year. It's time to sit back, relax, spread some cheer. D plus the kid, have no fear. It's the most magical time of the year. Garland, stockings, hot cocoa. Egg dog, Santa, and the reindeer. Coffee breath, morning walks, that's us though. 25 days, that's Vlogmas, baby. Greetings, Brooklyn. We moved into our house, what, six months ago, I think? But it's just a never-ending process of getting everything together. So we actually got these curtain rods. There's one in our bedroom. We got them custom made so that there wouldn't be a notch in the middle because we just have one curtain. We couldn't have like a divider. And we just got the one for downstairs. So we're about to hang that up. I'm going to help Clayton. And then tonight we are going to do a DIY Christmas decor. I'm like slightly nervous for because I'm not like a DIY queen. And we're also going to do a little gift wrapping session. Let's hang this curtain rod and then get to some stuff. Here comes the drill. Does the curtain need to touch the ground or not? Maybe, like just above the ground. That's good. Uh -huh. All right, the curtain rod looks really good. It's nice to just have something like that. We are about to do some gift wrapping, but before we do gift wrapping, we wanted to show you guys a few things from Nike. We just got in some new jackets from Nike. They are super cool. And these are actually really good gift ideas for your loved ones. I know Delaney's gifted me Nike in the past. It's a great brand. So we wanted to show you guys some items from them. And thank you to Nike for sponsoring today's video. And let's get into it. First, we're gonna do some coats that we picked up. I picked out one that I think is a really good gift idea for guys. So Clayton's gonna give his honest yeah. review and opinion because I didn't tell him about it. One for him and one for her. So they're both like a winter coat. Mine is a puffer. Mine's like a really, puffer. Yours is a puffer? Yeah. His has a hood. It's a, I mean, it, yeah, it's definitely got some puffer in it for sure. Okay, mine is actually like patent. So it's like a shiny texture and it is this really nice creamy beige color which is actually, I was really drawn to this coat because it was so unique for a puffer. Yeah. The texture is not like many I've seen and the color is really nice unique color. It's really cool. Obviously I wear neutrals all the time. I'm wearing like a little chocolate brown outfit today. I love tan, black, white, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so this is just like a really nice kind of like unique color and it's fun it's got the gold details so the hardware on it is gold and it's got nice fleece lined yep. pockets and then it's got this kind of collar which just like a little popped collar perfect for being kind of like chic but edgy during the winter that just has me written all over it that is her and i that got looks this really good. I, like that. I think i got it in a size small you got a small yeah yeah, I think this is a perfect gift idea for her. We are headed up to cold weather soon. Well, I'll definitely be bringing this and I feel like it's actually fashionable while being warm, which is sometimes hard to do. And then... I really love this too. So you, you made a really good choice here. I like to get a little more adventurous with my colors. I like, He's not as obsessed with neutral no. as I am. And I like kind of busy stuff. But I liked this playful. because it's colorful, but it's kind of like muted. It's color blocked, muted. It's almost like vintage feels yeah. to me. Like that's what I was thinking. Look. It's like a golden yellow mm -hmm. and then like a muted forest green. And then, and then, then it has the red. a pop of kind of like a true red, but it's that like orangey well, vintage orange red. red. And it's a puffer. It's got a nice hood, fleece line pockets as well. I also like that the hardware on this is white. Yeah, the white detail is really nice. Yeah. I feel like this looks like you thrifted it. Yeah, it is definitely that vibe. Vintage feel. And like like Delaney said, we're going up to the snow here in like a couple weeks. And I actually, I could see myself snowboarding in this yeah. jacket for sure. It doesn't have like a snow gate or anything like that, but it still could definitely it's like, pass it's on the, the mountain. It's the snowboarder seas though. Yeah, no, it's perfect. It's I really, really like it. it this this like black hoodie that I put on goes kind of perfect with it too. If you want to like do this hood out of the top or if you want to have it open like this. Uh, and what size did we get really, you? It's a medium actually. A medium? Yeah. Okay. Because Clayton's really slender so. Yeah, so when I get large, larges, Especially it just like kind of gets coat. like baggy. We didn't want it to be like so, so like, This wide. is like fitted and it's still long enough too. So I'm six foot. Two and a medium still. You're six three, I thought. 
I like the number two better, so. So you lie and make yourself an inch shorter? No, I'm not actually 6'3". So a couple other Nike items that we have that are just perfect gifts oh, yeah. are our <laughs> shoes. We wear these shoes daily, so these, they are a great gift. These shoes are actually not supposed to be a part of this haul. Like they're not new or anything. No, but, but they're we in just, stock, ready to, you know. Yeah, we just wanted to include them because these are our two most worn pair of shoes. Yep. Like no joke, I wear my Air Force Ones at least once a day, every day. These are my absolute go-to favorite white sneaker. Easy to so slip easy on. So easy to style, so comfy, so easy to slip on. I keep my pair of Air Force Ones down by the front door, mm -hmm. and it's like anytime I'm running out the door to go, go to the P.O. box or go yeah. on a walk, if those are there, I'm putting those on. So Air Force Ones for him or for her are perfect gift idea. Any like age range too. I feel like they do run a half a size large. So I get a seven, he gets a 10. Normally a right? 10 and a half. Yeah, but they are the absolute best. Really, really good gift that people will actually use, I yeah. think. These also for a boy or girl in your life are the... I think the blazer is sold out in that color for girls. Oh, is it? For girls, okay. but for boys, I for think For boys, they're there. They have other colors too. I think they might have a blue or a red, and I think you can actually even customize these on their website, so you can get any color swoosh. Let's tell them the story. And do that kind of detail. But they also have like the vintage foam tongue, which is pretty cool for the shoe. They're just super stylish. And ever since I got these, I wear them every day as well. Well, tell them the story of why you got those. It was actually in an old vlog um, in yeah. the summer because he's had these since the summer. Mm -hmm. My friend Mark, who has really good style and he um, has really good style advice for men. Yeah. I was like, we need a good pair of shoes for Clayton that he can wear with everything and they'll look good on his frame and his style and that can be worn a lot because Clayton kind of like destroys my shoes. His I mean, you, shoes. Can, you can see these have been thrashed a little bit, but they still look good. Yeah, so we wanted a shoe that could like handle the wear and tear because that's the way Clayton wears his shoes. So he's <laughs> had these for six months. They still, they look like a little more vintage and worn in, but it still looks good with things. He wears them all the time. Check my hair um, for you guys. So for a guy, if you have like a guy that's kind of hard to shop for or hard shoe yeah. guy, I think that this is such a good one. It matches everything. That's our little spiel on these mm. Nike shoes, must shoes. have Nike shoes. We'll link some of our I other mean, favorite things yeah. in the description box and everything will be linked for you guys so you can just shop it all there. These are some of our favorite items yep. and just some of our favorite gift items for this season. So if you guys are looking for something, um, it's a good place to. We will link everything and now we're gonna get into our gift, gift wrapping for the year. So we'll kind of see where the aesthetic goes and Clayton is gonna have to help me with all the straight will lines. Hold her. Paper. Paper. Let's make some dried oranges. The oranges exploded out of the bag, so we're just picking them off the floor in the garage. So I've seen this all over Pinterest for like holiday decor. Yeah, is this a new thing using oranges? It's probably like a really old thing. It is. Actually. I just never associated oranges with Christmas. It's like everywhere on Pinterest and it's very kind of like eclectic looking I feel like and cozy and organic so it, it fits our vibe. So I'll link the recipe that I found or like the instructions I should say. We're not going to eat this, it's not really a recipe. I'm pretty much just going to cut up the oranges, put them on a baking sheet with parchment paper, bake them for three hours and then you have to let them sit for two to three days, which is just a lot of patience. I don't know who these people think I am, but I'm not the wrong girl. Just kidding, I'll figure it out. The girl who did the instructions said that five oranges gave her about 12 feet of garland. Our mantle is about nine feet, so we're doing a little bit longer than 12 feet. We might use some extras on our gift wrapping. I was in the store actually and I saw, I was looking for stuff for like gift wrapping and I saw some cute like fake dried orange thingies. I was like, that's cute, but I should just like make them so that it's not made out of plastic. Even though it's annoying to wait three hours and then three days. The store inspired me, but I was like, I'm gonna go this route instead. So we have been using these instead of paper towels. 
and there's like a little video i think it was on apartment living or something like that some ig like inspo home ig that explained how to use like rags like this and you just kind of have this little system that you use instead of paper towels and it's much more sustainable these are nice little things to have around you pop them in the jar you let them sit there for a little while and then you wash them and they're literally as good as new i think we've mentioned them on our channel before and then you have to flip the oranges at least three times it says our molasses cookies are gone and they were so good so i just found another recipe that i'm gonna make for snowball cookies I like those little powdered sugar they have nuts in them my grandma's calling me hi jeej hello Nilo. how are you i'm good how are you i'm good i was missing you so i told grandpa i'm gonna call her oh i miss you too we were relaxing a little bit and we're watching some football and it just made me curious if you guys are football fans and what your team is most of you guys know we are raiders fans diehard raiders fans Woo! always have been always will be ever since i was a kid it's a very rough life so just curious comment below what football team you guys follow and then we can duke it out in the comments okay the oranges have been in for about an hour i'm gonna go ahead and take them out it smells really good it's a nice scent but they need to be flipped time for me to flip the oranges -la 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 -la. flip the oranges flipping oranges is so much fun fa la la flip the orange fa la la all right going back in so we're having cauliflower tacos for dinner, so I'm gonna air fry the cauliflower. All I did was diced up the cauliflower and then I put salt, garlic salt, pepper, paprika, and chili powder, and a little bit of olive oil, and then just shook it around. Looks like this. Pop it in the air fryer. Put that thing all the way up. Probably about 20 minutes, and there you go. Stir it every once in a while and you're good to go. All right, we got the beans cooking. So what we do with our refried beans is we kind of make them homemade. We take a can of black beans, mash them, and add vegan chicken broth and some vegan mozzarella. Makes them super, super good. We have these same beans on our What I Eat in a Day, but I think we forgot to mention kind of our recipe for them. That's the tea on that. All right, here is tonight's taco rendition. A little different here with the chopped taco del Rio. Jack del Rio. Former Raiders head coach on the top of the football, I guess. Tonight, we're doing the chopped lettuce, little onion. I put our Spanish rice in there. What are you laughing about? I don't know. It just sounded funny. Anybody else act like this? Or is this what I'm stuck with? I'm just trying to talk and she laughs. Every <laughs> sentence. It's a blessing, honestly. It's Thank you. Back to what I was saying. Black beans, cauliflower, onion, rice, lettuce, and Tonight's secret hot sauce is the Tabasco green pepper sauce. Delaney's not a fan, but I've got it anyways. I revolted in the grocery store the other night. We're gonna go eat, and then finally, we're gonna get to the gift wrapping. Real Housewives premiere right here, guys. Okay, it's been three hours. So now we'll take them out. Okay, that smells delish. There they are, beautiful little oranges. Literally have to let them dry for two yeah. or three days, and then we'll get a thread and needle. And I don't know what we're gonna do with them while they're just drying. Just leave them yeah. on the counter. Maybe in the garage. Will mice come? Mm -hmm. Maybe in your bed. It's for bed too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap a couple presents. 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 I was 15 when the world put me on a pedestal. I had big dreams. What do you guys think? Make a comment. Still working on it. All right, let's wrap some gifts. The thing is, Leighton hasn't gotten any presents yet. I mean, he might just not ever get to it. So he's going to help me wrap his presents today. So we ordered some sustainable wrapping paper. I really wanted the paper with the strippers on it. Yeah, but that was like back ordered for like six weeks. So we ended up with this one. So these are both sustainable, recycled. Really um, cool feeling. It feels a bit like construction paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got these both off Etsy. They're small businesses. I don't know the name of that one. That one is Anastasia Marie. And her Instagram is Anastasia Mika. This one is really cool. Subtle holiday spirit right here. Got little gold speckles. 
with all the speckles on it, as you can see. And this one came with a sweet little handwritten note. This is another small business called California Artisan, I think. And then we also got some twine. We're gonna do a little twine, twine. top edge. We did end up buying one plastic thing, but we can save these for next year and use them on our wrapping too. So got this from Michael's and it's just some little foliage winter vibes. And I think we'll use some of our fresh garland too and maybe yep. some of our orange slices when they're done. A little extra for the wrapping. And then this is like some ribbon. This one is really pretty and like luxurious feeling. So first thing I'm gonna do here, so I had to use an extra piece because this wrapping paper isn't quite big enough. Who remembers the Christmas vlog? Was that last year or two years ago when we wrapped with your brother? I think it was two years. If anybody's here for that, we appreciate you. It's a long way, it's come a long way. So I'll just put on the first piece. Look how this good is the you did. This is the bottom. This is the bottom. You are super good at this. So the key is to pull it tight. Why are you yelling? You want it tight. Is anyone else's boyfriend exceptionally good at wrapping? Gotta just be gentle though with this yeah. sustainable paper too. Okay, hold on. Now this is step number one in how to be a bad pre Christmas present wrapper. You don't just jam the tape. Sorry, please. All over the place. Sorry. You have to be intentional with your place. Oh my with your God, tape, I already fired. With your tape. Placement, or else you just end up with what is this freaking Frankenstein? <laughs> so you don't want to just have tape everywhere. Okay, just let that be the ugly stuff. See this? You want to, you want to give it the crease itself. Here you go. Okay. One piece of tape right there. No, no, no. You don't need five. You don't need four. You need one purposefully placed. Boom. You know, like how much more beautiful that looks. Absolutely beautiful. You're amazing. You guys see this? We're doing a little twine now. I'm doing a double twine expo right here. So you go like this. A twist in the back. Oh, but it's a little short. Here is the first one with a little twine oh, tied on it. So cute. Delaney found some uh, fresh garland. Little fresh garland. Oh, look at that. I'll be darned. Should we put another bow or not even? Nah, I wish it was just a little bit longer. Yeah. And put it under the tree. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> That's just one large piece. Let's see how we gonna do this. Can we ever show them our bucket? We got this bucket off of Etsy. We cannot remember if we shared it with you guys or not. When we were ordering it, we shared Yeah, it. vintage farm bucket. And this is a cute little winter painting, I think, on there. And we filled it with these cinnamon scented pine cones that smell amazing and they look really cute as well. It's one of our favorite little decor pieces now. So for those of you that don't even know how to start. Okay, me. You lay your package upside down. You can figure out how long your piece of paper needs to be. Here comes the scissors, look out. I always like to hide the piece I cut. If you have a clean edge, always use that on the top. Always best to actually tape this bottom piece down to make it stay there. Art director, finishing it up. Yeah, the wire is cool because you can like make it do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Cute. Cute. Okay, and this one, Delaney got a little orange peel. And we're working on the garland right now, so she just grabbed an orange peel and put it with this guy as well. Looks super, super cute there too. They're not so good. <laughs> good job, babe. You did all the work. You were the creative director? Yeah. They're cute, I love you. Love you, good job. And that's it, y'all. 2020 been a hell of a year. It's time to sit back, relax, spread some cheer. D plus the kid, have no fear. It's the most magical time of the year. Garland stockings, hot cocoa. Egg dog Santa in the reindeer. Coffee breath, morning walks, that's us though. 25 days, that's Vlogmas, baby. Baby. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.